everybody! I am the Theater Junkie Ginger, and welcome to today's vlog. Today we are talking about how we can become our own superhero. So, to become our own superhero, let's kind of go through the typical hero's journey. So, basically, let's go through Star Wars. So, the hero who is a meek farm boy is suddenly told that there is a greater good out there that needs to, um, that needs him for it to take place, that somebody needs him. And suddenly, through meeting various friends, your comic relief, your wise old wizard, he takes on the evil and he defeats the dark side and he saves the universe. So, what is a lesson that we could learn from this? How can we become our own Luke Skywalkers and our Supermans and our Spidermans? How can we do that? So I really think that through my experience, it comes from learning who you are and accepting yourself and loving yourself. I'm going to share a couple of personal experiences and it's a little hard for me, so bear with me. Um, I have been battling depression and bad self-esteem most of my life. There's been a couple of times that I've almost lost the battle. I'll be quite honest. And even uh, about two years ago, I was in pretty rough shape. And really, I kind of got to this point where I went, I'm not going to take this crap anymore. And you stand up and you fight and you feel that inner power boil beneath you. You feel the force. You feel the force. I just, yeah, I got a little Star Wars, uh, Star Wars fangirled out there for a second. But I decided that the only way I could change how miserable I was, was to do something about it. So I set a goal that I would become super. I was inspired by one of my best friends who basically said that to become the best you was to become a superhero, which means that do the best form of yourself, which is somebody who is confident in themselves. I know a lot of people who are self-conscious about getting into cosplay and really expressing their love for things because they're afraid of what other people will say. I'm going to tell you a secret that a lot of people maybe not may not tell you, and I really discovered it within the last two years, and here it is. It doesn't matter. Be who yourself. Own who you are, and don't define yourself by those bullies who didn't accept you and used you as their scapegoat to take out their aggressions. You are who you are, and even if somebody has an, a different opinion, you keep yours and you love yours. As long, and the way that you become especially super, is that you maintain your opinions, you be confident, you be strong, but you also respect others and try to make the world a better place around you. Love others for their differences. Approach matters maybe in a different way than you would by not jumping to conclusions or giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. Maybe just smile at somebody that you normally wouldn't that day. To me, I think that is one of the biggest superpowers ever. And I know that the most influential and dearest people in my life have been people that have tried to do good with their own abilities, with their own superpowers. They've used it for the greater good of all mankind. The only way that we can save this world is by discovering just how fantastic we actually are. So do it. Discover your own superpower. Discover the love that's in your heart and share it. Be a geek. Geeks love. You take that geekdom and you take that love and you share it. In the words of Doug Jones, there is love. Use that love and find your superpower. And you might just change the world. <laughs>